It's like putting a band-aid on a broken bone. It's not gonna help. In the long run, it's not. Hey everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and I'm here to discuss what's been in the news as of late regarding Erica Badu's stance on girls wearing uniforms in schools. Now, she was making a statement in response to a New Zealand school determining that the st female students wear long skirts to not distract male students as well as male teachers. Now, I can totally understand how that rule will be implemented to not distract male students but what really alarms a lot of people and disturbs a lot of people is that they decided to add the the factor that the rule has been implemented to not distract the male teachers as well now that doesn't sit well with me and it doesn't sit well with a lot of other people who are critiquing Erica Badu's comments now I completely understand the the mindset that a lot of these people have who agree with Erica Badu you know um, do whatever we can to protect our girls however the solution to fixing the issue of child molestation and pedophilia is not to change anything that these kids are doing we need to stop putting so much emphasis on giving the the children essentially the responsibility to not attract predators it's not the children's responsibility what are we doing to help cure these men these grown men who are fetishizing children what are we doing to help them because at the end of the day these men need help Erica Badu made some points that you know it's natural for men to be attracted to women or girls who are of childbearing age she means you know girls who are going through puberty or girls who have gone through puberty you know um, naturally men will be attracted to them I think that is so sad that we have to treat men as if they are animals who have no self-control all of this this victim blaming it just doesn't make sense to me however I completely understand why uniform are set in place you know I went to elementary school and middle school where we had to wear uniforms they weren't very strict on the length of our skirts however the uniforms were pretty modest and but um in high school we know we wore whatever we wanted to wear I think that's really important for a teenager to be able to express themselves through their clothing since in many ways teenagers aren't able to express themselves the way that they need to so I think that clothing is a one great way for them to do that so I'm not really pro uniform at least not for high schoolers I'm really not however I do understand how our bodies can be a distraction to our peers other boys especially but the teachers I don't think that there should be such a rule to cater to the male teachers. It just sounds sick to me. How about you create some sort of programming to prevent teacher-student relations? Train your teachers accordingly. This shouldn't even be something that like needs to be taught, but it, it obviously it is, obviously it is. But I get it, this world is a huge patriarchy and no matter what, women and girls are always gonna be blamed for these situations we are blamed for our rapes we're blamed for being abused and it's always gonna be seen as our fault what did she do to provoke it what did she do to deserve this what was she wearing i hope that one day we take it more seriously and we start to implement some things to help these boys and these men to help them to help them understand that we're not to be preyed on. Our girls are not to be preyed on. I get that those rules are put in place to protect our girls, but think of the bigger issue. I'm not saying that we should take the, take that rule out or anything like that because it may be of help, but it's it's like putting a band-aid on a broken bone. It's not going to help in the long run. It's not. When are we going to start taking pedophilia and statutory rape more seriously? This is a huge issue all over the world. Did you know that most people who suffer from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, are victims of rape? 
But yet when you think of PTSD, you think of war, right? You think of soldiers. Why is that? You're making these miniature solutions that are not going to benefit anyone in the long run. And this is what society loves to do all across the board in every arena, in every genre, in every issue. We, we, all we are worried about is some short-term solutions. But we will not get anywhere with short-term solutions. We need to think long-term. What can we do long-term to help these issues? Share your thoughts below. I'd like to know how you feel about the subject matter. Please be respectful because if not, you're just going to get blocked and deleted. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Remember to like if you liked it. Leave a comment below. Subscribe and share. Love, light, and locks.